protective, loving, and calm. These gentle giants have become popular guard dogs and family pets alike. The Spanish Mastiff Dog The Spanish Mastiff exhibits the behavior of a dog who is confident in himself, determining his strength since he is aware of his immense power. Do you wish to get a Spanish Mastiff? In this video, we will look at 10 characteristics of the Spanish Mastiff. And, before we begin, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be alerted whenever we publish a new video for you. So let's get started. Spanish Mastiff Origin The history of the Spanish Mastiff dates back to the 10th century, when these dogs were used to guard flocks of sheep and defend the shepherds who were herding them. The dogs' coats kept them warm in Spain's hilly areas, and their strong devotion made them great guard dogs. They were so popular that representations of them may be found in ancient Spanish art and literature. The Spanish Mastiff is in the class of working dog breeds. In 2008, the breed was entered into the American Kennel Club's AKC Foundation Stock Service Group. Though they may only be slowly gaining popularity, consider adoption if you think this dog is right for you. Given their huge contribution to history, it is no surprise that the Spanish Mastiff remains popular within Spain today and has even been named the national dog breed. What is surprising, however, is the rarity of the breed outside of its homeland. Within Spain, the Spanish Mastiff is still kept as a working dog by many farmers and can also be seen at dog shows and within family homes as a pet and guard dog. While there are records of the Spanish Mastiff dating back for many years, it was only in 1946 that their breed standard was eventually written. They are currently recognized by the AKC within their foundation stock service. Spanish Mastiff Appearance the Spanish Mastiff is a huge and visually striking dog most noted for its sheer size. Males grow to heights of 70 to 85 centimeters and can weigh up to 70 kilograms. Females are typically 15% shorter and lighter than men. Their muscular physique is strong and lengthy, with a wide chest. They have a distinctive dewlap of skin on their neck. Their huge head, like to other Mastiff breeds, is possibly their most distinguishing trait. Their little ears are pushed to the side of their heads, and their sagging lips conceal a muscular jaw. Their tiny, brown, almond-shaped eyes should always have a peaceful look. Their skin is loose and falls in wrinkles around them, though is often less wrinkly than in other Mastiff breeds, such as the English Mastiff. Their fur is dense and straight and slightly longer over their back and tail. Regional variants of the breed do exist within Spain, with a larger, more visibly impressive dog being used most often in dog shows, and a smaller, more agile dog being used to work on the mountain. These dogs are known as the Mastin Pesado and the Mastin Ligero, respectively. Spanish Mastiff Temperament After successfully fending off terrible predators for so many years, the Spanish Mastiff is still a brave and loyal dog today. They have deep attachments to their family, whom they are constantly eager to defend. While they are normally wary of strangers, they may be trained to welcome new individuals if they are socialized effectively from an early age. They are known to be patient and friendly toward children within the family home, but because of their size, they should always be accompanied by an adult while around children. They are a noble and quiet breed that is usually happy, yet they are always attentive and observant, and may respond shockingly swiftly when they feel a need. They are excellent watchdogs, barking loudly at the first hint of a threat. If an intruder does not leave, the Spanish Mastiff will almost certainly attack. They are quickly bored and require interesting activities and lots of attention to keep them busy. One of the most predominant qualities of the Spanish Mastiff is their tough, stubborn, and independent personality. While they are a very intelligent breed, they will often do what they please, so they also need a strong pack leader and plenty of structure early on in life. What they are like to live with. The Spanish Mastiff, like most livestock guardian dogs, is quite independent by nature, LGDs. If you want a dog to adore you or play frisbee with, this is not the breed for you. Spanish Mastiffs are mostly working dogs, and those kept as pets are reserved. If you enjoy living with a noble, huge guard dog who isn't much of a problem, this is the breed for you. Spanish Mastiffs are quite laid back compared to other LGD breeds. Males tend to bond more with family members than females, and all Spanish Mastiffs are extremely loyal to their people. Owning Spanish Mastiffs requires tolerance of snoring, slobbering, and drooling. When they're not snoring by your side, they need moderate exercise, always at a fairly slow pace. They are low maintenance, needing only to be brushed regularly and bathed occasionally. Due to its protective nature, the Spanish Mastiff does not usually fare well in a busy environment. It does best in an environment in which it does not feel that it has to be on constant guard, such as the case might be in a city or busy suburban area. It requires a moderate amount of exercise, such as a reasonably long walk every day in a yard to move freely about. 
this is generally not an apartment dog. If well socialized at a young age, the Spanish Mastiff can be trained to be more accepting of strangers and other animals, but this dog breed has an innate urge to protect its master and family. Do Spanish Mastiffs make good family dogs? Spanish Mastiffs are excellent companions for some households because to their well-known calm and gentle demeanor, they create extremely tight ties with individuals they care about and have an innate need to protect them. However, if they are not properly socialized, this inclination can render them a danger to other people and pets. Some Spanish Mastiffs may be difficult and independent. Because of this, as well as their large size, they are unsuitable for first-time dog owners. Needless to say, tiny, urban dwellings are not suitable for a breed of this size. They also have a booming bark, which may be a nuisance to adjacent neighbors. Families with additional pets and little children may wish to pick a smaller breed. Spanish Mastiff Maintenance and Grooming These dogs have a thick, medium-length double coat that sheds a lot. If you don't want dog hair in your home, they should be brushed aggressively at least twice a week using a pin brush and a metal comb. When they lose their coats in the spring and fall, you may need to brush them every day. Because their nails are strong and grow rapidly, you'll need to trim them on a regular basis to avoid overgrowth and splitting. Their large, flat ears must be examined for mites and cleaned on a regular basis. This breed is prone to dental problems due to frequent drooling, thus cleaning your dog's teeth many times a week is strongly suggested. Spanish Mastiff Exercise Needs When fully mature, this breed has an average need for exercise. Like all giant dogs, this breed is very slow to mature, especially the males, which keep growing up until 2.5 to 4 years of age and are rather short-lived. They have a fairly low activity level and need only a moderate amount of exercise. Daily walks for about an hour twice a day is about all they need. They tend to be most active when they are young adults. This is not a breed for very active, sporty people who want a dog to jog, run alongside a bike, or play fetch or frisbee with. Plan to give your dog at least an hour of physical activity each day. Walks, hikes, and vigorous games of fetch all are ideal activities. And puzzle toys can help to challenge your dog mentally. It's ideal for this big dog to get some time to run around off-leash in a securely fenced area. Spanish Mastiff Training they are very smart dogs, but training can be a challenge, particularly for inexperienced dog owners. These dogs prefer to think for themselves, and they're very stubborn. You'll need to begin training and socialization activities early and reinforce that training over the course of their adult lifespan. Socialization is particularly important because its large size means that it can cause damage without intending to. Spanish Mastiffs respond best to positive reinforcement. They're especially motivated by treats. Furthermore, aim to expose your Spanish Mastiff to a variety of people and other dogs starting from an early age. The more positive experiences it has, the less likely it will be for your dog to view strangers as threats. Spanish Mastiff Health The Spanish Mastiff breed is predisposed to many of the same health issues that all large and giant breed dogs suffer from. The Spanish Mastiff has an average lifespan of 10 years. Few major illnesses are associated with this breed. Some Spanish Mastiffs may develop hip dysplasia and certain heart condition. While most are generally healthy, some may be prone to a few common health issues, which is why it is important to maintain good care and regular veterinary checkups. Spanish Mastiff Children and Other Pets Because the Spanish Mastiff is such a huge dog, they are strong pups that like playing with youngsters. Because of the size of these dogs, it is critical to carefully supervise playtime with youngsters, as even the most well-behaved pup might inadvertently injure a little child. They will build close relationships with their family and become quite protective of any youngsters in the home. Children who learn how to approach and play with larger dogs at a young age would find a terrific companion in a Spanish Mastiff. When it comes to having other pets in the household, the Spanish Mastiff is usually not the most welcoming dog. Spanish Mastiffs are very territorial by nature and will not typically enjoy the presence of another dog, and some may even express aggression towards cats and dogs in their home. With that being said, it may be for the best to have your Spanish Mastiff as the only pet in the household. Still, in some instances, a Spanish Mastiff puppy raised and socialized with other animals while young may have a chance at being able to cohabitate with other pets as an adult. While a Spanish Mastiff generally won't get along with other pets, it may come down to luck of the draw and training. So what do you think about the Spanish Mastiff breed? Let us know in the comments and share your experience with other interested dog owners. And if you found his video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel, so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.